as you can see, back to the pier. Uh, when I came in, they told me that uh, the people from here that work here told me that they haven't done anything. So, so let me see what I can do. I do have a different base to try, so I'll give it a shot. What I'm doing here is two poles per person at this spot. So what I did on this one, which is my uh, Pen Pursuit 2, 5,000 size with my uh, Shakespeare Xterra. Uh, you guys seen this, I, 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 like, I don't mind using this pole at all when it comes to pole fishing, that's what I'm doing. But anyway, so I've got a fluke snail hook here, uh, four ounce weight, it's a little bit windy, and I've got a fish, fish finder there. And basically I'm gonna dump this one on the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna cast it out there, but not too, too far. And we're gonna see what's going out there with this pairing. And on this seat, oh, my other setup, which is uh, Pen Fierce 1, 2000 size. I have a high low, okay, on the bit on top. Got some real sand worms. I told you guys uh, I really like this bait. The only problem is that it's uh, very expensive. But anyway, oh, he was trying to bite me. This guy, oh man, that doesn't think you're gonna be careful because these guys do bite. All right, all right. So I have him in, and on this light set, I only have a two ounce weight because I'm gonna be fishing it like down here, guys. Very windy today. A couple of guys left already telling me they haven't been catching anything, so I'm gonna give it a shot here, guys. Right, yeah, let me drop this one. This one's very light. I have a 10 pound test main line braid. And what I'm actually, what I'm using is this thing here. Alright, so. Fish on. Fish on, guys. Got a fluke. Short fluke. But guess what? Got one. Around the sparing, guys. Right for the sparing. Guys, yeah, so. Got one short fluke. 13 inch. On my on my trusted sparing that you guys know I use it all the time. Now let's go see if we catch a keeper. But you know what? At least I got rid of the skunk. And a lot of people are not catching anything leaving this place skunked. So you know what? I'm glad I'm not skunked. So let's see if we get something else. Dude. Yes! Kingfish. Got a kingfish, guys. This is my first kingfish. It's a new species on the blood worm. There it goes. Nice. So, I got a new species for me, which is the kingfish. Um, I have caught the southern kingfish in uh, South Carolina, which is the whiting. But uh, yes, guys, I'm happy. He went for the blood worm, for the real one, not for the gulp. I did see that hit. It went like a little tab. But yeah, guys, like, that's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, that's the reason I was using that rig. And this bait, I just didn't want to jig myself. But yes, I do have a new species, and I'm going to see if we get some more. Uh, they're very tasty to eat. I have in them in the past, but never caught it. So... Let's see, I'll take a couple home for a fish fry. Got a hit on this one. Fish on. Oh, there's a fish on, guys. What is it? What is this? A little blue fish. One from the gulp. Worm. Look at that. Huh? Nice. New snapper. One from the gulp, guys. All right, guys. So a little blue. A little snapper blue. Worm. I broke 
get kept the piece because he bit it off. So I'm just gonna put this little piece back on and toss it back out. All right, just so as I'm telling you, I already caught three species in less than 30 minutes. So you know what? To me, that's a really good session already at the pier, guys. So you know what? Let's keep going, baby. I got all day. I got here like around noon. I'm planning to stay to the close, which is 8 o'clock. So let's see what happens. When you're fishing two poles, either a pier or wherever, and using bait, always check your bait. Um, especially when it comes to the cut bait or frozen bait. And they can take it off the hook very easy. And look, I, I was fishing with nothing. Or like one of my friends, like my friend George says, can't fish on credit. So I'm about to cast. Now they're spearing out here. And they did hit him. And he was gone. So. That's where I caught that fluke before. I'm casting right to the same spot. So we got some more fish, guys. I haven't really had any action in a while since that uh, blue fish. So what I did is just baited that one with a spearing, and this one I've got double blood worm, real one. Let's see, because we've been getting hit. Uh, the bottom one, the uh, which was the blood worms have been taking, they've been taking it. So I'm gonna hold it, see if I can feel a bite, and try to get this fish. Fish on, guys. before there it goes it's called a nice kingfish it's 13 inches is my PB as of now so I'll move from that side to this side right here we'll catch some more around the blood worm I'm still gonna catch my other rod out here for the blue The kingfish is looking for. Also, a nice keeper foot would be nice. Baby, that's a nice king. Real big one. Yeah, baby, getting them, son. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm getting on the kingfish now. It catches nice ones. There's a third one I land today. Yeah, if you have it, I'll take it, man. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, you put. Oh, oh, you got Gillies. Oh shit. You know what? Gillies. We can put them in the back. Put them right here, bro. Put them right here. Just dump as many as you can in there. Yeah, those things will survive with no water anyway, dude. Yeah. These things are savages. So uh, the one guy that just left hooked me up with some killies. 
Actually, he gave me a lot of Achilles that he had left. So I'm just gonna put a one on this rod. Okay. I haven't, I have used Achilles this year, not that many times, but I do use them. And this other Achilles, basically, he had a whole bucket. So let me just go ahead and hook one of these guys up here. Okay. Basically the same thing when I when I use uh, shiners for uh, fresh water. I'm gonna hook them right through the front. There's a fluke uh, hook. Make sure you try just not to go through the drain. So you don't kill them. And then just cast them out there. Sparing, I got one so far. Let's see if I get anything else. Let's see if I get another one with the killer here. I'm go get back on the kingfish, guys. Look at this big love one right here. So I'm gonna slice them up. See if we can all guys. So far I'm at three kingfish. All of the blood worms. See what well, guys they're hitting and fighting really nice. Fish on here, guys. Fish on. Oh, nice, nice kingfish. Oh, I can't lift this guy up. Hold on, guys. All right, guys. So I just caught that king. I didn't have any bites. For a while, and I finally got another fish. So uh, the other thing is that I'm running out of blood worms, and I only have like an hour left to fish. I'm not gonna buy another pack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the gulp again, the gulp sandworm worm, and I've got the real blood worm on the other hook. See if we get another one. I didn't cast it too far last time. It was like there i already landed five today which for the first time catching the species is pretty good let's we'll see if i get another one here it is 20 to 7 the pier closes at eight o'clock and i will be staying to eight so uh let's try to see if i get another one and last one I had on the other rod, it was a fluke that I lost. I'm gonna check this one out. A lot of people have left already. But so far, guys, it's been a very good day for me. There's some short fluke and some kingfish. Oh, 
uh, spear and I just put this still there. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'll cast them out. So I'm going to wait around a little bit more. Hopefully, we'll get a couple more fish in this trip, guys. Again. Come on again, guys. What is this? Freaking fluke. Fluke went for a worm. Yep, fluky went for a worm, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Got that fluke on my kingfish rig. That's the fluke rig. <laughs> so, just rebaited it with a real worm, and I got the gulp. I'll tell, you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you guys what, the gulp hasn't really got in touch but but that bluefish today really. The rest all the real blood warm. And very expensive bait, but well worth it today because that's what I've been catching those kings on. And I even caught a fluke on it. Well let's see if we get another king guys. I would like to catch another one. Good session. I'm about to put my stuff away here and uh basically that's it guys thank you for watching one more time another one of my adventures and uh take it easy